Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning aus Lüning and this is my son Ben. And today we have two bottles here in our cast, two Nakandos, a 15 year old and a 18 year old. And today in this video we taste the 15 years of age and uh, if I look at the bottles... I... <laughs> so I, I think the cast became a little bit dry. Yeah. If it if uh, if I still stand it full with bottles, then it looks like a hedgehog. <laughs> it just spikes out everywhere. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna glass plate or something something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want to sand it down because uh, I would lose the the, the nice branding. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have, have to do something. We can flood it with whiskey and we. <laughs> <laughs> it, becomes, it, soaks uh, it soaks up and it comes flat again. Maybe, maybe I just soak it with water. I don't know. But I will do something in the next month. So, today we have the Nokandu, 15 years of age. This is a new design, and now it's called Richly Matured. Richly Matured. And it's 43% ABV, and it's always a vintage. And this is the specialty of Nokandu. They have vintages, and they call it seasons. Yeah. At no can do. Yeah. No can do is a space side distillery, so it's uh, probably known for their uh, fruity, fruity, mild whiskies. And it's um, no can do is Gaelic for Black Little Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's fifty. You already mentioned fifteen years old, and it's matured in ex bourbon and sherry casks at an ABV of forty three percent. And that means it's 86 proof. Yeah, 86 mm -hmm. proof. And uh, here they write it on, on the, uh, the tube. Uh, aged for a minimum of 15 years, Nokandu, richly matured, shows generous accents of rich fruit and sweet spices with subtle hints of almonds giving way to a deep finish. Ooh, I like the bottle with the, yeah. with the engraving. Or well, not engraving, but... The opposite. Molding. <laughs> Molding, yeah. um, so, and on the back, there's something funny. And this is the new uh, food declaration law in Europe. And yeah, yeah, they crazy say, Europe laws. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and they have uh, two rows of, of uh, numbers. <laughs> and they say, uh, if you pour 30 milliliters, which is a typical normal dram. A good dram. A good dram. Uh, and the second one is for... A hundred milliliters. <laughs> so yeah, this is that. this size. Well, and that now they say uh, there are uh, fats in it zero. Uh, there are uh, saturated fats zero. Uh, 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 carbohydrates zero. Uh, 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 sugars zero. Uh, proteins zero. And salt. Less than zero point one grams, uh, <laughs> close is, to zero. <laughs> so which is less than the sixteenth of an ounce, <laughs> which is nothing. <laughs> uh, so and uh, now you can say, well, you can take whatever you want; uh, it won't harm you. No wait, that's less than one one hundred sixteenth of an ounce. Or yes, something. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> incredible less if you. So so if you if your doctor tells you, oh, you have to eat less saturated fats. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so this is complete nonsense. Uh, but uh, well, there's is is one figure that's important on that it, model. It's, it's ABV. Yeah, ABV. So everybody can can look. Okay, I'm taking intaking so much alcohol. And, yeah. Yeah, it would make more sense if they said if you consume. 30 milliliters then you have five grams of alcohol or uh, I don't know how much it is but yeah. okay can't so, calculate that on so the this is uh, normal bureaucracy <laughs> idiocracy <laughs> idiocracy <laughs> in, in, in total uh, <laughs> incredible guys from Brussels have to work <laughs> <laughs> and they don't find any work anymore <laughs> I think in Washington DC they aren't different <laughs> <laughs> because this is uh, because you have to tell people what's in food because they will no longer know that uh, but they try to do it for everybody everything for everybody everything standardized yeah yeah and this is the main problem you, you can't standardize everything yeah. it's it's makes no sense mm -hmm. so it's really smooth on the nose but it's it's intense really intense Mm -hmm. For 43 ABV, it's really intense. On the nose, I have a fruit, apples, pears. 
in the back, vanilla and, and caramel from the casks, but the apples and the, the peels are more intense uh, than vanilla and, and caramel. And there is definitely a sherry cask influence on top of that, dark sherry. So this is a wonderful complex nose. Mm -hmm. And it's, well, uh, richly matured. This is true, it's on the label. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I find uh, the the apple is, is really overwhelming. It's really uh, one of these red, dry, what do you call it, flowery apples. We call them flowery apples in, in Germany because it's um, it, it tastes a bit dry and, and like, like the flour you have in the bread. And uh, combined with a bit of a cinnamon note, so it's, it really reminds yourself of that of that time when you go to a Christmas market and you get an an apple with uh, cinnamon chocolate in it. So that really reminds you of that. Yeah. And no, and as you say, there's the cinnamon in it, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and combined with that sherry cask, so mm -hmm. you really, really, really um, have that sherry cask influence in there. That's it's really present in that whiskey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So if you start with a dram, mm -hmm. uh, you have a very smooth and silky feeling in your mouth. And as soon as you swallow, the spiciness kicks in. Mm -hmm. Really hefty, uh, oakiness, dark chocolate, turning over to bitterness. Really deep, full and intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nuttiness, almonds. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely a for me. It's definitely a sherry bomb, but um, it has that fruitiness, nuttiness. Um, definitely, the apples are in here. Bit of a spicy note as well. But um, ooh, now that it comes a bit in the aftertaste, you realize there's a bit of a, a tannin note, a bit of an oaky note, maybe some French uh, French wood is in there. Um, but definitely, it, I think I've heard uh, it was in the bit less price range. Yes. So it's uh, it's, it's below forty euros dollars pounds. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's definitely it's definitely a gem because not many people do not know Knock and Do. It's it's not a well known name, but their stuff is pretty good and uh, for their price, it's excellent. Um, it's of course it's forty three percent. It's chill filtered. Uh, but you, we do not know if it's colored or not, because in the past only the 12 years of age was colored, mm -hmm. and the 15, 18, and older ones uh, hadn't been colored. Mm -hmm. and today it's uh, not written on it, and you see some differences in color uh, between the batches. Uh, but uh, there's no official uh, telling mm -hmm. about uh, using of color or not. So if they say uh, carbon hydride zero. Well, the, the amount of color would be very would be insignificant. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer for us in Germany because um, if we don't know, we have to declare it because if, if it's in there and we didn't know, we, we're still we're yeah, still liable. Yeah. So we say officially we say yeah, color in there because we want to be on the safe side. But um, I'm not sure if there's color in there. Yeah. Okay. Mm, nice. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video, video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time. Now you're talking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> talking too fast. Yeah. Yeah.